but uh, I was in Saigon in 1977 as an illustrator for the Air Force, and a fellow came, uh, his name was Ed Savage, who came from the States carrying some of his comic collection with him. And in that was the Neil Adams, Dick Giordano, Danny O'Neill, Green Lantern, Green Arrow stories. And it completely blew me away. I had never seen anything like this before. I mean, it was, it was incredible. And right then and there, I decided that that's the kind of work that I wanted to do. And uh, when, I, when I finally got started at uh, DC, and was working for them for a while, rumor came down that Denny O'Neill was going to resurrect the Green Lantern, Green Arrow title. And I went straight to his office and said, who do I have to kill? And he, and he basically threw up his hands and said, if you want it that bad, it's yours. So I got to do that with Denny, who's the, the greatest writer ever to be in comic books. He's just incredible. And to bring everything full circle, just to show that uh, what goes wrong comes wrong, the uh, uh, last project that I just finished for DC Comics was a, an issue of DC Retroactive where they team up uh, one classic story from back in the 70s with a brand new story. The new story was written by Denny, drawn by me. The old story was the exact Green Lantern, Green Arrow story that inspired me to get into the comics in the first place. So that was, that was a kick. That was a kick. And Green, Green Arrow's been portrayed on TV and Smallville, and the Green Lantern movie just came out. What was your reaction to those? I, I actually liked the Green Arrow quite a lot. I thought the, the portrayal of him was, was pretty cool. Uh, they managed to incorporate some of the elements that I had written into uh, the Longbow Hunters and the Green Arrow series when I, when I wrote it. I like the hoodie. I like the idea of the glasses instead of a mask. Because face it, a domino mask isn't going to fool anybody. You know, It's like, how dumb can Lois Lane be? She doesn't recognize Clark from Superman because, hey, Superman doesn't wear glasses. And she hasn't been able to put that together. Uh, and unfortunately, I have to say, I'm not able to speak about uh, uh, Green Lantern because that movie hit the theaters when I was 20 hours a day on tight deadline drawing Green Lantern and I never got out to see it in the theater. So I'm looking forward to it. I, 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 the trailers that I saw were great. I think Ryan Reynolds probably the perfect casting for the character. Physically he's got it, he's got the ability to do drama, he's got the ability to do comedy. What's not to like? Yeah, if the story's good, that's all I care. So without uh, with the movie success, do you think that will bring up the, uh, the prices of the comics? Oh, I sincerely hope so, but it's a crapshoot. You know, it's a crapshoot. I will say that uh, today at the at the convention, people have been bringing a lot of those books for me to, to sign. So, thank you, guys. You're going to do it right here, Mike. Right here. Right here. Let me make this real quick. How Next. important is it to keep the comic book industry alive and in paper as opposed to digital? Absolutely vital. Absolutely vital. If I had my way, we'd go back to newsprint. Really, seriously. Um, the, the, the digital age is with us, and there's no getting away from that. It, it's going to be with us from now on, so you have to learn to deal with it. I actually learned to use a computer, all right? So if, if I can do that, I guess anybody can. But... The, the the print industry it, it I think it's it's the heart and soul of comics. Uh, I told a story today about uh, a pal who had a, a comic book shop, and there was a, a truck driver making deliveries next door. And as the guy finished up, he came in, and he's walking through looking at all the displays, and he saw a copy of Uncle Scrooge, 1950s Carl Barks, and went nuts. He had to have it, had to have it. He said, I had that comic when I was a kid. And the owner said, well, it's $80. He said, I don't care. Whips out the money, pays for it. The owner said, can I put that in a plastic bag for you, a Mylar bag? And he said, no, I'll take it like it is. He took the book, folded it twice in half, stuck it in his back pocket, went out, climbed in his truck, and left. <laughs> and, and, and my friend said, you know, at first I wanted to grab him and say, stop. He said, but then I realized I hadn't sold him a comic book. 
I had sold him a piece of his childhood. And that, to me, is what comics are. Comics should be something that you can hold in your hand. You can fold it in half. You can stick it in your back pocket. You can read it in the bathroom. If you're a kid, you can read it under the covers with a flashlight when mom told you to stop. Or you can lie on the living room floor with a TV going, reading comics in a stack. There's no replacement for comic books in print. Wow. The end. That was that's, amazing. That's my opinion. That, that, I, and you're you can't replace that. Three quick questions that I ask yes. everybody. Who's your favorite superhero? You better start thinking. Green Arrow. Favorite villain? Favorite villain? I think I like uh, Talia al Ghul. And, because she's sometimes oh. good, sometimes not okay. so good. Ross al Ghul's daughter. Yeah. And who's your favorite, uh, who's your real life hero? Who inspires you? A real life hero? Yeah, who inspires you in life? My dad. Yeah, I wanted to be a lumberjack, just like my old man. And uh, when I was 16, he got me a job working in the woods. And I found out just how hard the old boy had been working all those years and decided I got to find a job where I don't have to work that hard. That's excellent. That's why I'm a cartoonist. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Rampage Fitness Academy is located at 23681 Via Linda Suite A in Mission Viejo, California, 92691. Call them at 949-830-7267. Cardio kickboxing, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, Mai Tai, regular boxing, yoga, or women's classes only. Rampage Fitness Academy has it all. Check them out at rampagefitnessacademy.com.